Hey guys, Pastor Chris. So when I was in elementary school, I had this friend, and he was kind of the nervous type, but he was just a cool kid, and I loved hanging around him. But he was he approached everything like this. We would get ready to play a ball game, and he would say, Hey, Chris, I hope we win. Do you think we win, Chris? Oh, I hope we win. If we were going to lunch, he'd say, Oh, I hope they got pizza today. Do you think they'll have pizza today? Oh, I hope they have pizza today. Or we're getting on the bus. He's like, I hope I don't get beat up on the bus today. Oh, I hope I don't get... Do you think I'll get beat up on the... I mean, it was just... It was amazing how he used the word hope just over and over and over. And what I've realized now as, as a follower of Christ is... His definition of hope was completely not biblical. You see, biblical hope is not just some desire that something good might happen. It's not just, oh, I've got my fingers crossed, I hope so. But instead, the Bible would say it's a confident expectation of something good that we plan on having in the future. So, so biblical hope has a, a sense of certainty to it. When Scripture says hope in God, again, it means that we expect great things from God. Biblical hope is, is marked by confidence and certainty, uh, faith, and anticipation that we're actually planning on those things that God has promised to take place. And it's that hope through Jesus that we're able to, to, to cling to when we face a lot of the uncertainty of life. I don't know about you, but, but each day presents its own different challenges. And some of those challenges could even be described sometimes as... as uh, struggles and even tragedies. But the hope that Christ gives us is one that allows us to keep our focus on Jesus and not necessarily the, the immediate temporary circumstances. I think there's this great text. It's in Luke chapter 21. I hope that you'll read the whole chapter, but, but we're told of some of the challenges that the earlier followers of Jesus faced, and, and quite frankly, it's challenges that we face as well. And even though they were facing uh, challenges and opposition and persecution, the Bible refers to these moments as opportunities. These times of persecution and harassment and trouble were opportunities, the Bible says, not tragedy. It wasn't the end, but just the beginning of something for the disciples. These, these difficult times were not the worst thing that could happen, but they were the greatest opportunity that these early followers had been given. You see, because of the hope that we have in Jesus, just as it says in chapter 21, our difficult times may be our opportunities, our opportunities to proclaim our faith in Christ, our opportunities to bear witness to the goodness of God. Wow, because of the hope of Christ, it really can change our lives. We understand that even the tragedies in life can be our best opportunities. Because when the world runs out of hope, when the world runs out of help, that's when we Christians are to run in with the message of Christ. And yes, in our own lives, things may be hard. It may seem like the earth and the world is falling apart, but it's simply an opportunity, a chance to say that, you know what, this world may be falling apart, but let me tell you about a world beyond this world. Let me tell you about a home that, that we have, and this world is not it. Let me tell you about a hope that I have, a hope that, that this world can't give you. And you know what, it's a hope that this world can't take away. Folks, we have a message of hope. We have a message of healing that Jesus is alive and that in itself can make our lives meaningful. So what Jesus is saying is this, is hope in the Lord. Lord. Psalms 135 says, I wait for the Lord, my whole being waits, and in His word I put my hope. So don't despair because the worst moments that you may face may be some of the best opportunities you get to glorify God. When times get hard, let's be careful not to ask the wrong questions like, where is God and does He care and does He love me and has He left me? Those are the wrong questions. Instead, let's ask, where's the opportunity? Who can I help? Who can I serve? What should I say? And, and how am I going to be reminded of the greatness of God in and through this situation in my life? You see, that's only possible when we are able to hope in the Lord. Again, a hope that, that we can't buy anywhere else that this world cannot give, but again, one the world cannot take away. It's a hope. It's an expectation. It's an assurance that we have, no matter what our circumstances, in Jesus Christ. I'm Pastor Chris Klontz, and I want you to know that Jesus is my hope.